All new this morning, it's Loving Day, marking 57 years since the landmark Supreme Court decision legalizing interracial marriage in our country. Back in 1958, police stormed into the Virginia home of Richard and Mildred Loving. They were arrested and convicted, all for being married to each other because Richard was a white man and Mildred a black and Native American woman. Their marriage violated Virginia's Racial Integrity Act of 1924. The couple sought the help of U.S. Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy, who directed them to the American Civil Liberties Union. Their lawyers with the ACLU would go on to take this case all the way to the Supreme Court. And on June 12, 1967, the court unanimously struck down Virginia's ban on interracial marriage, overturning the Loving's conviction and legalizing interracial marriage across the country. It's a case that has helped to shape so many of our American families today, yet this is still a little known piece of history. Edie Evans Hyde is the founder and executive director of Ebony Road Players, a black theater in Grand Rapids. She told me she found out about the Lovings several years after she herself became part of an interracial marriage, celebrating 45 years this month. She says while many people don't know the story, she believes it's one of the most important civil rights we have. The Civil Rights Movement was about everyone having those particular rights. And this was a couple that went through a lot for this to happen. And there's so many multiracial, multicultural families that are in um, the United States right now that I don't think really get a chance to really talk about how bringing that culture together gives an understanding of other people that are not like you. There are two events happening Saturday in honor of Loving Day. First, Loving Day at 11 a.m. at the Grand Rapids Children's Museum, an event for the whole family with hands-on activities and multicultural book readings. Then at 4, Loving and GR will be at the Grand Rapids Public Museum and is described as a June wedding in Grand Rapids, celebrating the humanity of love complete with a wedding cake.